Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is the second part of the second version of my Iron Man torso strapping and internal details. So I have some more 3D printed parts on the bench today. I have some more detail parts which are for the rib sections and a, another piece for the middle. All of these are 3D printed and sprayed chrome. I also have uh, these pieces. So I've got one of these already fitted to the suit. This is in fact a hook to hold the shoulder bell on. So um, that sticks on at that, that angle um, and basically this magnet here grips um, another magnet inside so that these pieces sort of snap together and that holds the shoulder bell on pretty well and I'll show you the one I fitted shortly. The other two pieces are these hooks which hold the ab plate on to a bungee cord which um, <clears throat> I briefly mentioned in the last video. I've got hold of this silver bungee cord which is uh, roughly 10 mil in diameter and that snaps on there quite nicely so um, <clears throat> that will uh, hold the ab plate which I'll show you now so there's my piece of bungee cord which I fitted to these two brackets um, in the last video so that's just put through there's a cable tie on each end to hold it and then the pieces I just showed you these hooks just sort of snap on there there we go and that will hold the ab plate so they'll be glued to the top there and that means that's got some flexibility but ultimately it's supported it can also twist slightly as well so I was thinking this is quite a good method of actually attaching costume pieces together uh, perhaps for ankle joints or um, wrist joints potentially elbows and shoulders um, possibly for Iron Man suits or other types of costumes so something I'm going to use in the future for some other projects basically bungee cord and bits of hooks so obviously those unhook so you can separate the pieces um, and they give you some flexibility when they're together. So let's have a look at that shoulder bell. Let's just zoom this in. I'll just pull that one off. So we've got the, uh, the one half of it in there and the other half sticking up there on this bracket which was originally part of the original metal strapping system. Um, and obviously that just pops in. Um, and that holds it pretty well, it allows the shoulder bell to tip right up and uh, still secure, that's not going to come off without, um, well it basically won't come off unless you actually grip this and hold it and then pull it off so um, in the angle that your arm moves there's no way of pulling that off. So um, the other piece were the rib pieces which go on just either side here. The holes in them are just the right size for some blue LEDs so I'll probably be um, putting some blue lights shining through them once I wire all the electronics up and then we have the one extra piece which mounts on these hooks so that goes there and these go either side so that should complete the detail part for the um, internals obviously once the chest plate is on there isn't much to see anyway so um, it's just so that I know it's there so let's get those pieces stuck on and then I should be able to wear the entire upper body. Right, so that uh, shoulder looks okay. Let's put this piece on. And we'll just get the other arm on. Is it quite grippy so I just have to force my sleeve through there. that up. Right, and the chest plate. And there we go. So what you'll have noticed when I was trying to get the armour on there was that the front of this isn't attached to anything and um, basically it flaps around so obviously these um, come right away from the body and one side got unhooked while I was trying to get the other arm on. So um, the eventual plan is of course that there's some pieces missing which are the side pieces and the back of what make up the complete ab surround. So um, those pieces are going to be made next and that's what's going to happen in the next video. So obviously once those are on, they will hold the front on the back and actually um, 
be hooked onto the back of the torso armour in the same way that the ab plate is, basically with another piece of bungee and some very similar hooks to hook on at the back, um, and then basically that will uh, grip with the side pieces and that will hold this whole thing down so that uh, when everything's in place it's all held uh, nice and snug to the body back to front and it also holds these at the right height so I uh, had some issues with this slipping but basically we just need to tie that down um, and then the last piece to put on will be the cod plate which will go on there and that will also be coupled to the ab plate with another, probably another bungee linkage so there's some flexibility in all of this. Um, and that's basically it, then we're working on the legs again. Um, there's quite a few videos in the channel about the boots I did which you can just wear as boots, they don't need any shoulder straps. And the only last thing that's remaining is to sort out the thighs and how those will be mounted. So subscribe to my channel for more updates, look at the videos I've already got in my channel. You should also like my Facebook page and have a look on my website where there's tons of information um, and other small updates and pictures that I put on, put on as time goes. Mm -hmm.